right, so today we're going to be working on this uh, 1973 six horse Evan Rude. This engine is about 45 years old. Um, I've had some problems with water in the lower unit, uh, so had the drain plug out multiple times uh, over the past three or four years. Replaced all the seals in the lower unit uh, to make sure that the water wasn't leaking anywhere there. Unfortunately, when we were checking it this year, strip the threads on it. So we're going to be um, oversizing it from a 3 8 16 to a 7 16 20 plug. Okay, so the thickness where the drain plug is uh, of the lower unit is very thin, uh, so we're not going to be able to tap very deep. So we're going to be uh, drilling it out first. We'll put some grease on the drill bit to keep chips out. Uh, and then we're going to do a standard tap for the 7 16 20 thread. And then we're going to do a bottoming tap, which doesn't have a tapered lead in on it. Um, once again, we can put grease on all that stuff to keep chips out. I left the lower unit grease in it. When I'm done, I'll just let the lower unit grease flush that out. Uh, worst case, if I really wanted to, I could split the bottom half of this lower unit, clean some of the chips out, uh, but we'll be okay. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna pull this old plug out here with the strip threads. Uh, next, we're gonna drill this out. You wanna make sure that that drill bit is perfectly perpendicular to the hole. Uh, so we're just gonna do slow RPM. Start drilling it out. Yep, very thin metal, didn't take long. What's nice is this fluid as it's flowing out here, you can see there's a couple chips that already flushed it out. Uh, so that's good. Next, we'll start with our standard tap here to get the thread started. Once again, make sure you're perfectly perpendicular. Next, I've got the bottoming tap here, so I'll go ahead and start the threads on that. I need to be very careful with the bottoming tap. It can grip a lot harder than the standard tap. All right, because we put grease on our tap, a lot of the chips just held onto that tap there. Uh, and like I said, the rest are kind of flushing out with this lower unit grease. Okay, and that's it. So now we can let our fluid flush out. Uh, I did have to take a little bit of a length off of this plug. Uh, that depth, like I said, is very shallow. So I ground the end of it, make sure to uh, protect the threads right at the beginning. Uh, so I'm going to change the lower unit grease in this and then we can get our plug installed. Okay, lower unit grease is changed and plug is installed. Uh, didn't go too tight on my torquing, so remember, don't over-torque or cross-thread your drain plugs. Alright, time for some happy boating.